Hello YouTube, it's Tony, and so today I'll be showing you a core memories guide. So this came with the Hall of Memories update. Anyways, this requires 70 divination at minimum, and it's located in the Memorial Guthix site. The fastest way to get there is by using the Memory Strands Teleport, which is from your currency pouch. After that, you're just going to jump down the pool, and basically you'll pretty much get a tutorial, so just run through the dialogue, and yeah, that's pretty easy anyways. Alright, so here's the suggested equipment setup. First, I'll start off with the Elite Divination Outfit, and it's obtainable in game now. So this retains the effects of regular Divine Outfit, as well as having a small chance for extra energy harvest. Otherwise, just use the regular Divination Outfit and that's fine. Then I have the item with Mobile Perk on it, and yeah, that's very useful for Bladed Dive and Surge cooldown. You can also bring dual wield melee weapons, that is if you have Bladed Dive unlocked though. Alright, so here's my inventory setup. I'll begin with the Divination Urns, and... You can also bring an urn enhancer which can boost you XP from teleporting the divination urns. Now you're just going to leave the rest of your inventory empty, and I'll explain later why. Alright, so here are the basics of how this whole minigame works. Well, I'm not going to be getting into all the basics, but I'll get into the core things that you need to know about. So you're going to want to go to the east side of this minigame, and yeah, just grab as many empty divine jars as possible, but I would at least suggest you leave one inventory space empty, because you're going to want to use this for a filled divination urn. Now the divine energy tiers are going to vary by level. They're exactly the same color as the regular variants. Unfortunately, you don't get any divine energy from this activity, but instead what ends up happening is you're going to fill the empty divine jars. Now it does take a while to fill each jar as you can see, but don't worry, at higher levels they definitely fill faster than that. So for the energies, they're just found on pillars or automatons, and they cycle randomly every 20 seconds or so. Once you've filled every single divine jar, you can actually dump them in the crater in the north section, and you'll get like 3600 XP from this. So now that I've explained the regular memories, let's talk about the core memories. So it's like a D&D for this mini game. Now there are core memory fragments you can capture that randomly spawn. It's pretty much similar to Chronicle fragments. Unfortunately, I didn't show in this video though. Anyways, after you capture a few of these, there are mini pillars in the northeast and northwest corner of the room. By filling 6 total fragments by anyone or you in the same world, this will randomly spawn a core memory in the middle. Now the core memory spawn will last probably a few minutes I think, I'm not sure. But anyways, the spawn will be given a random god name, and it doesn't actually affect the XP rate so don't worry about that. It's just pretty much all cosmetic. Now that I explained the basics, let's talk about the strategy. Luckily for you, there's an FC, and the name is called Insulate. Now I did talk to the owner of the FC and he said that he might change the FC name later on, but either way, at this moment, the FC name is Insulate. If it changes, then yeah, I'll just change the name in the description. So this is very simple. They're just going to call out which god and which world a core memory is on. Now they'll also call out the world that is nearly spawning by saying something like 4 out of 6 or 5 out of 6 or something like that. Yeah, so just follow the world and harvest in the middle. So now that I've talked about that, let's talk about the 2 ticking method. Yes, you can actually speed harvesting the energies faster. Just for your information, this is not a bug because it's confirmed by a jmod on reddit. So once you see the XP drop, you're going to click the memory or the statue in the middle. You're just going to keep doing this, I mean, it does take a while to get used to, and it can be sometimes annoying on worlds with bad ping. To be fair, it's quite click intensive doing this, but you can afk and get lower XP rates anyways. Whenever the core memory despawns, you can either try filling another world with fragments, or just harvest the highest tier memory that's available around this area, until a new one is called. Alright, so here are the XP rates. Unfortunately, I can't use my main account because I'm 200 mil divination, which means I cannot get any XP drops. Because of this, I can't time the 2 tick method with that. This means I'm forced to use my Iron Man account to test this, but I mean a lot of people requested me to do a video on this. Otherwise, I would probably wait at least a month or two before I'm high enough divination level. So my Iron Man is 70 divination, without using urns or the elite divination outfit, and this got 64k XP per hour by using only the regular divine outfit for 6% bonus. I mean certainly people have gotten a lot better than what I'm getting here. I'm pretty sure it's probably at least 500k XP per hour if you were to do 2 taking at level 95 divination, using the urns as well as the elite outfit. So here's the comparison to Gothic scene caches. Like it's a lot more click intensive than caches, but I mean caches are quite frustrating at times as yeah, people do fight over crests a lot of times, eh? Also, the other thing is well, a lot of people don't like dailies, but still. But still, if anyone wants a Guthixian cache guide, 
I'll leave that link in the description. The next comparison is to Ancestral Energies with Contracts in the Arc. So it's actually faster than Ancestral Energies, but it's around 300k XP per hour and it's very very AFK. Once again, I do have a guide on this and I'll leave that link in the description. So in conclusion, my opinion on this is, I would say it's a very good update as a whole. I mean, it's a good way to introduce a non-daily divination method. It's also nice for us to be rewarded for being non-AFK, you know? Oh, and by the way, you can actually get divination pet and elite divination fragments from this here. So with all that being said, just let me know what XP rates you got from this. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.